protests in the U.S. are defined by their chance. But imagine hearing nothing. This is reality for the deaf. But not today. Volunteer interpreters are explaining everything through sign language. You know, I've seen police brutality and my family has been through that themselves and I experienced it as a black person. I'm an interpreter myself, so I want to make sure that I can tell that story and provide uh, that culture. Here's how it works. A hearing person listens to the day's schedule. He signs what is said to Williams. Williams, who is deaf, interprets it into sign language for the group. So their protest march begins with a unique chant that turns heads. George Floyd is the black man who died in police custody. His death sparked nationwide protests. They sign his initials, GF, at the end of their chant, a call and a response. When I see the call and response and I see people fighting for access, my hands it joined that conversation just as, just as dramatically and loudly and proudly as the people who are using their voices. It is loud on the streets that lead to the White House. Friday, the Washington, D.C. mayor renamed this area to Black Lives Matter Plaza. Volunteers painted the words in enormous yellow letters that stretched for three blocks. A heavy reinforced fence separates protesters from the White House complex. Police are absent, except to barricade streets. It is the largest protest in Washington of the past six days, peaceful and diverse. The deaf are here with the black, indigenous people of color with disabilities. Many have higher risks for the coronavirus. Terhouse Clark, an Ethiopian American, took a chance to attend. It's a pandemic, so it was worth getting sick over and possibly getting a disease because um, I'd rather die for my social justice instead of survive and being oppressed by my country. Despite that coronavirus threat, interpreters like Williams cannot wear masks. It's not just reading lips, you know, but actually part of the grammar is in the in some of the movements that we make with our mouth and with our eyebrows. So that's the structure is of the language is actually partially included in the face. This group's message isn't all that loud, but through their silence, they are heard. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News on 16th Street outside the White House.